Okay, let's look at CML 2.5. Here's the login screen. Right here you can see CML version 2.5.0 build.5. I log in with admin. I already started a lab environment, so you can see this blank space here that represents a lab. Before I get any further, I will say that when I first logged into CML 2.5, this bottom right corner where it says status OK was actually red. When you click on it, it will it showed me that licensing uh, was had a red icon right there. Let me move myself out of the way so you can see what I'm talking about. Yeah, right here, there was a red circle right beside licensing. And when you click on that, you can then see various things related to licensing. If you click this actions over here, you can see there's various things that are related to renewing or re-registering, deregistering, and also you might need to go back to your uh, Cisco learning store where you purchased your license. Like this right here at the Cisco learning network store, you can see your purchase of your CML license. And then if you click view license right here, you can then see there's a place right here where you can deregister. Or there's a place over here where you can copy your license key and then paste it into your CML. Looking back in CML, if you click down here at CPU or memory or disk, it'll pop up and it'll give you some details. You can see that I'm running this on a uh, environment that's 28 AMD Opteron processors right there you can see 28 CPUs for memory you can see that I have 315 gigabytes of RAM and for disk uh, it shows totals and used and free I'm using 50 percent of my disk right now it also says virtual machine stats the, this has to do with how many virtual routers you're running. You'll see this tick up uh, whenever you start running more VMs and how many CPUs you have allocated to each VM. Click on your lab environment and it'll open up and you see that it says drag a node to add it to the lab. I wanted to add Cisco iOS XR. In here it's known as iOS XRV 9000. So if we click on that and drag it over here, It'll add itself to your lab. And in CML 2.5, it's quite different than what I was previously familiar with in CML 2.2. When you right click on it, that's where you start your node or you add links. Before, you might recall that when you put your mouse on it, a pop up indicator would show up that had a, a start button and a console uh, button on there. But now it's a little bit different. You right click on it to start it. Now before I, before I start this, if you click on it once, it lights up and then you get some node info down here. You can move this bar up if you want to look a little bit further down. And when you click on simulate, it will show you the RAM and the CPUs and the CPU limit. If you click on RAM, it then reveals that it has 20 gig of RAM assigned to it. If you click on CPUs, it has four, uh, excuse me, four CPUs assigned to it. So I was really curious if I'm gonna be able to run XR 9KV in CML 2.5 with its default settings. Okay, so let's click on it and let's start it. And when I start it, I'm going to start a stopwatch at the same time. Okay, we're going. I want to see how long it takes this thing to boot up. Now you see a little green circle with arrows indicating. I'm going to blow that up so you can see that a little bit better. Indicating that it's running. I'm going to right click on this. Uh, now you can see console here or if you click on it once and you go down here, you can click the console and say open console and you can watch it boot up. Let's go back to our stopwatch. We're at 30 seconds now. We're a little over a minute now. 
those look like repeating messages that we saw before. I'm not exactly sure. Now I'm quite sure we are repeating the process. I saw this welcome to Cisco XRV9K platform message about a minute ago. Now I'm seeing it again. So it looks like it's rebooting. Okay, it's up past five minutes now. I'm seeing what appears to be a reboot over and over again. If you grab this bar over here and you drag it up where I saw the starting XR message previously, you can see like right there underneath it, it says bug, unable to handle kernel paging request. I really don't know what to make of a lot of these messages, but uh, we're not seeing it settle down and successfully complete a boot. There we go, we're back at this welcome to Cisco iOS screen again and we're up past six minutes. I will show you that if right here, just above that screen, you can see host has what appears to be 20 gig of RAM and four virtual CPUs, which is exactly what we saw was assigned to this XR 9KV node by default. Okay, here we are. We are up over 10 minutes and I'm still watching this thing reboot. Getting messages, couldn't mount because of unsupported optional features. Not real sure what to make of this, but it just continues to say XRV 9K board reset, resetting. You know, it's just not settling down. Okay, over 11 minutes, I'm gonna stop this node. You can right click on it, you can say stop. And if you go back, Okay, I'm gonna add more memory to this node. So if you click on nodes, click on the node listed here. Now, when you go down to compute, when we click on RAM and CPUs and CPU limit, you can't change anything. Here's what you need to do. You need to wipe the node. Are you sure you wanna wipe that particular node? Confirm. Now, you can go back into RAM and you can make changes. So I'm gonna leave the CPUs at four and the CPU limit at 100, and I'm gonna change it to 32768. So 32 gigs of RAM instead of 20. Apply that, and let's start the node. Let's then open up the console. Let's watch it boot. Let's start that timer again because I'm curious how long does it really take to get an XR 9KV to load in CML 2.5? If anybody knows the immediate answer to this, please post a comment. Uh, if you know where to see in these messages exactly where this is failing, let us know. I'd be curious to know exactly where in these messages it tells us that there's a problem. Okay, you can see right there, 32 gigs of RAM and four virtual CPUs. So it did take the change that I made. It's attempting to boot. Okay, it says reboot, restarting system. So it looks like it's already rebooting. Moving up on five minutes here, looks like it's restarting again and again. Okay, it's been 19 minutes, this thing is still not booting up. So let's put a stop to this and let's add resources. Right click, stop. Let's go to simulate. Again, wipe the node. Let's put 48 gigs of RAM in here. Say okay to that. We will leave it at four CPUs. And let's see what this does. Click start console and let's start the timer once again okay I went to get some lunch this is taking too long I'm seeing right there it says 48 46.98 so 48 gigs of RAM four CPUs this thing is still not booting successfully okay 12 and a half minutes Still rebooting. Let's shut this down and add resources. OK, 
Okay, wipe it. Let's put 64 gigs of RAM on this thing. Apply and start. Let's start our timer. Get to the console. Let's watch it boot up. A couple minutes into it, we see right there 62.73 gigs, so basically 64 gigs of RAM, four virtual CPUs. 64 gigs of RAM, four CPUs. We're up over 11 minutes. This thing still is not done booting. Okay, we're a little over, well, a little under 15 minutes, and it says connecting to local host. Let's see if this is gonna reboot or if it's gonna settle down. Generating SSH RSA key, starting uh, daemon. Oh, look at this, iOS. Con art route processor CPU zero now available. So just under 16 minutes. Let me pause that and hit return. Okay, let's give it a second. We get a message. XR image baking in progress. OSPF, MPLS, traffic engineering, RPM installation started. So it looks like it's installing part of the iOS XR software here. ISIS, MPLS, multicast, manageability. I'm pausing between these instances of this software loading, probably waiting 30 seconds to a minute or two. We're probably up close to 20 minutes right now to watch this one single node boot up. B and G, and now it says partition preparation completed successfully. And there we go. It's asking us to set a root system username, enter the secret. I think it has to be six characters. Okay. Finally logged in. Check it out. That took at least 20 minutes. 64 gigs of RAM, four virtual CPUs to get this thing to run. Admin show platform. Let's see what this thing shows for hardware or virtual hardware. Okay. A uh, XRV9000 route processor. So there you have it. I will try to show uh, a few other videos on adding another one and connecting them together and to see how well they run after it took so long for them to boot up. Are they sluggish? Do they run good, efficient? And we'll find out later. All right, that's it for now.